Welcome to Real Filmmaking. My name is Corey Tyndall, and today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite lenses and a lens that if you are a Canon DSLR shooter or mirrorless camera or you're somebody who adapts Canon glass, it's a lens that I would highly recommend that you pick up, and that is the Canon 50mm 1.8. So the first reason I would highly recommend you picking up this lens is just because the price for the value of it. Uh, once you get into videography and photography, you'll find very quickly that lenses are very, very expensive and they break the bank and you gotta save up lots of money. You gotta hustle, do lots of gigs to pay for those lenses. And so when you're first starting out or you're looking for budget options for your video or photo need, you're looking for what is the best bang for the buck. And the Canon 50mm 1.8 definitely falls into that category. As of recording this video, you can buy a refurbished one from Canon for $100. But honestly, I've seen them on Craigslist and Marketplace for anywhere from $50 to $80 to like a lot of people will pack them in with other cameras that they're trying to sell. You might be able to pick one up that way. But these lenses are everywhere and that's a testament to how popular of a lens and how good of a lens this is. A big reason that you would want to have a lens like this with you is because of the fast aperture. That 1.8 means that this camera can open up the aperture very wide and take in tons of light. This can be beneficial when you are shooting something at night and you need to have a lot of light come in. This can also be a really important thing if you're trying to get good separation from your subject and your background. And if you're really trying to get that nice bokeh or bokeh effect. That's one of those things. Is it bokeh or is it bokeh? Like, what do you all say? I mean, it's kind of like that ongoing war with like GIF and GIF. Like, you know, what, what's the right way? <laughs> Let me know. Along with the fast aperture, this lens really delivers in the image quality. I will say up front, this is not a pro level lens, but this hands down is better than a lot of entry level kit lenses that I've shot with and even some more entry to mid level primes that I've gotten the opportunity to use. It's built pretty well, it's good build quality. I know it's not like, again, a professional level lens, but it's durable. Like you can knock this thing around, you can throw it in your backpack. I've never damaged this, like my lens has taken a beating and it's still holding up and it's great. The image quality that you get from your photos and your videos looks really nice. This is one of those lenses that if you know how to expose an image, if you know, understand things about composition, lighting, you can get some professional looking video and photos with this thing, no kidding. And then the last reason that I would highly recommend picking up this lens is that it's just a really good all around lens. And what I mean by that is it's very versatile. It's kind of like a jack of all trades. If you wanna do street photography with it, this is a great lens. If you wanna take portraits of people, this is a great lens. If you want to do some landscape or nature work, this is a great lens. If you wanna like dabble in macro photography or macro video, this is a great lens. Because of the versatility, it's so nice to have something so light and compact and has all these things that it can do at your fingertips so you're not having to lug around like five or six lenses lenses to do what you specifically want to do. You can just grab the 50 millimeter and say, hey, like, you know, I don't know what type of video I'm going to shoot today or what type of shots I might need in particular. And this lens can probably do all of those things competently. A bonus, if you are an APS-C Canon user, so something like the 60D, the 70D, 80D, any of those, or if you shoot mirrorless, so like the M50 or the M6 Mark II. This lens, you have to remember, because of the crop factor, the 1.6 crop factor for the APS-C size sensors, actually this lens becomes a closer to almost an 85 millimeter, which again is really great if you want to do things like portrait photography. The 80 to 85 focal length is very flattering when people do photography of people. And if you're doing video, like an interview, it's a really good focal length for that. Also, if you're doing any sort of macro photography or trying to really uh, you know, isolate a subject, that focal length works wonders for that. Those are some of my reasons of why I would highly recommend picking up the Canon 50mm 1.8 especially if you shoot Canon or adapt Canon glass. So if you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more content like this, 
revolving around camera gear, filmmaking, creative process. And until next time, keep making movies and watching movies, and I'll see you on Real Filmmaking.